Hello and welcome to the advanced session on profit and loss. My Twitter handle is at the rate Ravi Handa. You can use that to provide feedback. Today we'll talk about false weights. How do they matter in profit and loss? Successive discounts, that is a 40% discount, then a 50% discount and stuff like that. Another very popular case is let's say buy three goods and get two free and stuff like that. We'll also talk about a special case which comes in handy in some on some occasions that is when two objects are sold at the same price. So let us start. To begin with the first case of false weights. In this case the merchant makes a profit because he claims to give the customer more than he is actually giving. An example would be let's say if he uses false weight and gives you 960 grams instead of 1 kilo then he will make a profit. What will be his profit? Whatever weight he is claiming, let's say 1 kilo in this case, minus the actual weight that he is giving you. In this case, 960 grams divided by the actual weight that he is giving you, 960 grams into 100. Whatever that comes out as is going to be the profit made in case he is cheating by using false weights. In case of successive discounts, that is an A% percent discount, then a B% percent discount, if you remember, we discussed something very, very similar in case of percentages. You can use either that formula, but there you'll have to take care of the signs or you can use this very simple formula for successive discounts. That is A plus B minus AB by 100, which means let's say if you are given a discount of 50% and then 40%, your overall discount is not 50 plus 40 or 90, but it is 50 for A, 40 for B, minus 50 into 40 by 100, which is 2000 by 100 or 20, your overall discount will be 50 plus 40 minus 20, that essentially leads to 70%. So you can use this particular formula. Another case is, which is very popular these days, buy three goods, get five free or something like that. What is happening? In this case, you are getting a discount. But how much is the discount that you are getting? Well, that is given by y by x plus y into 100. Why this formula? Well, think of it as the goods that you are taking home. Let's say each of the goods cost 1 rupee. Then what is the mark price of the total goods that you are taking home? Mark price of the total goods is x plus y. How much did you actually pay for it? Since you bought X, you paid X rupees. So what is the discount that you got? The discount that you got was Y rupees. Why? Your mark price was X plus Y. You spent X rupees. The difference is the discount. And as you know, discount percentage is calculated by the actual discount, which is Y divided by the mark price, which was X plus Y into 100. Moving on to a special case. Let's say when two objects are sold at the same price of X, one is sold at a profit of P percent and the other one is sold at a loss of P percent. Then what will happen? Are you overall in profits or are you overall in loss? Well, as you can see from the formula here, you are going to be in an overall loss and the amount of the loss is given by 2P square X by 100 square minus P square. And what is going to be your loss percentage? Well, that is a much simpler formula to use and remember. It is simply P square by 100%. As an exercise, I'll recommend to you to try and figure out and try and derive both these formulas. In case you are able to do it, well and good. In case you are not able to do it, well, try harder. And you can reach out to me at Ravi Handa, which is my Twitter handle or drop in an email to me at ravihanda at gmail.com. What I will do is I'll tell you how to get these formulas. But before sending an email or before reaching out on Twitter, please give it a try. Until and unless you try yourself, you're not going to learn much. On that note, I'd like to end this session here. Thank you.